Democratic presidential hopeful Joe Biden is out west this week. His first stop is in Nevada, where any moment now he'll hold a campaign rally in Henderson and deliver remarks before the International Union of Painters and Allied Trades. And his wife, Jill Biden, she has a new memoir uh, also out today. It is called Where the Light Enters, Where the Building a Family, Discovering Myself. And she opens up about life with uh, former vice president and finding her place within the Biden family after he tragically lost his first wife and daughter. And she just spoke with CNN chief political uh, correspondent Dana Bash about what lies ahead in Biden's 2020 run for the White House. So it is so good to see you, my Me friend. Too. I know offline I've been asking you about this interview and I'm so thrilled, you know, she, you, you got this. And so you talked about everything from being what a political spouse mm -hmm. to Fexting. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that to in the piece. About. It's fascinating. She says that she coined the phrase, and I'm sure she's right. <laughs> but you know, she was a very young woman when she first met and fell in love with a widower with two young boys, a man who happened to be a U.S. senator. And she gives a very human account of navigating that, being a self described introvert, marrying the ultimate political extro extrovert, and the unimaginable tragedy in their family. Joe Biden proposed to you not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, five times. Five times. That last time you got an ultimatum. Yes, I did. <laughs> and uh, I, had to, I had to be sure, you know, um, Bo and Hunt had lost their mother and their sister in a car accident. And um, I had to make sure that uh, they would not lose another mother because of divorce. So I had to be 100% positive. And uh, I just couldn't hurt them. They were the ones who came up with the idea yeah. that their father should propose to you. Yeah. They, um, Joe was shaving one morning, and they were all in the bathroom before school talking. And um, they said, Dad, um, we think we should marry Jill. <laughs> so they were the ones who came up with it. We think we yes. should marry Jill. Yes. I think the boys, you know, they wanted a, a mommy. They wanted, um, they wanted the family to be whole again, too. And it was important for the boys to remember their mother. And so her pictures were around. And, and so we kept her memory alive. You write about Bo's death. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you say you still don't have words to express your despair, which is mm -hmm. understandable. You write, since Bo's death, I'm definitely shattered. I feel like a piece of china that's been glued back together again. The cracks may be imperceptible, but they're there. Yeah, they're there. Um, I mean, you have a son. You probably, when I, when you probably read that part in my book, I'm sure you just thought to yourself, I can't imagine it. And I don't think any parent can imagine it. I mean, they can't even put their head in that space. And so, you know, you just, it's not something you get over. I don't think any mother who has lost a child is ever the same. Let's talk about running for president. Okay. One of my favorite stories in the book is, 2004, uh -huh. oh. your husband is meeting with advisors <laughs> yes. about whether he should run. You're out at the pool in your bikini. Mm -hmm. You walk through the meeting and you write in Sharpie on your stomach, your mm -hmm. bare stomach, N-O. Mm -hmm. They got the hint. It was subtle. So, yes, it was subtle. <laughs> Why is this the right time for Joe Biden to run for president and be president? Well, um, for the past two years, um, Everywhere I've traveled across this country, people are coming up to me saying, he's got to run, he's got to run, Joe has to run. And I've really uh, taken it to heart and thought about it. And Joe is such a unifier. He brings people together. The physical way that your husband expresses himself has gotten a lot of attention, some criticism from some women. Mm -hmm. I was struck that you, in the book, write about your own experience coming into the Biden family. You said that you are not someone who is used to public shows of affection, mm -hmm. and that was an initially uncomfortable development. Yeah, he, he comes from a very affectionate family. They're always touching, and, um, and I think Joe is, is uh, one thing I've admired about Joe is the way he makes connections with people. But um, recently, I mean, things, times have changed, and, uh, and uh, Joe has heard that, you know, to back off and give people their space. And um, he has now taken responsibility for that. And um, 
And someone asked me, you know, did this ever happen to you? And I have to say, it has happened to me, and I, it, like 20 years ago, and I did not have the courage to speak up then and say, stop that, you're in, you're in my space. Now I would have the courage, but 20 years ago I wouldn't. Times have changed. Was there ever a time over the decades where you said, honey, I know this is your DNA, but maybe it's not the way that you should you know, interact with people, especially when you're dealing with women, they might take it the wrong way? Uh, no, I didn't say anything to him, I guess, because um, that's the way he, all, I mean, that's just the way Joe was, but times have changed, and, um, and now things are different, and he has to back off a little bit and let people come to him, he shouldn't go to them. On the campaign trail, uh -huh. there is no doubt that President Trump will start to attack mm -hmm. the Biden family. What should your husband and your reaction to that be? Well, um, I don't think we're, we're going to address, I mean, we're not going to take his bait. And um, that's going to be hard. Yeah. A lot of people have said that before and it haven't is, been able to I know, to, I know. It is going to be hard. And, uh, you know, but our family, we've talked about it, our family is resilient. Just think about it. Our grandchildren have never known anything but politics in mm -hmm. their life. Um, our children have grown up with it. And uh, I think it's, it's going to be tough, but uh, we've talked about it. They're ready to run. One of my favorite parts of the book, uh -huh. fexting. <laughs> what is fexting? I just okay. want to say F, not yeah, S, yeah. for Fexy. the record. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So when you're in the car with the Secret Service, you know, they hear, I mean, they're not supposed to listen to everything they say, but you're sitting in the front seat and the back seat. So, of course, we're, I love Joe to death, but sometimes if he annoys me, you know, I start, you know, fighting over text, and then he'll say, this is on text. But you're sitting right next to each other. Yes, but you can't, like, say something horrible or anything you, that you would say to a spouse because when they annoy you. Because the Secret Service is right there. Yes, yeah. So that, so I came up with that word, texting, <laughs> fighting over text. Not that any of us know anything about I don't know. texting with I, our What I know one. about it is that it, it tends to go <laughs> south really fast. Can I also just say you're such a trooper. I mean, your voice, she's okay, I'm but just, you're a stud I'm, for- I'm on the upswing. Um, I, I really want to go back to your asking her about will she take, I mean, Trump is going to come after the Biden family, right. especially if he's the one who locks the nomination. And you were asking, well, if she's saying, well, our family won't take the bait. And your follow-up was perfect, which is how, you know, how was that even possible, especially if, as you go down that road for so many months? And how many candidates did we see in the Republican nomination? I mean, I fellow Republicans. Jeb Bush. Marco Rubio. Yes. With, I mean, the whole thing. And they swore that they wouldn't do it and yes. it happens. And it is really hard. Joe Biden has been in public life and has been in elected office for decades, absolutely, as she said, but never against somebody who has just the, the, the gumption, probably other words to use, mm -hmm. um, to, to go after uh, his opponents in a way that, you know, we haven't, haven't seen before. But we'll see what happens. I mean, there is a long way to go. There is. Uh, he's already doing it. He's already got a nickname for him, Sleepy Joe. But it could turn in a big way if he actually gets close to being the nominee. Okay. And again, her book is out today. Yep. Dana Bash, thank you so much. Thanks, Brooke.